In this short video, we're going to cover the error that happens when you're attempting to turn those edge curves that you extracted from the bottom of the vase into editable polys. You can see in the next couple of um, minutes, we're going to actually just repeat the error. You notice after selecting it, the spline and attempting to turn it into an editable poly, um, it begins to disappear. Just for kicks, I check the uh, unit setup just to make sure that um, we are working at, in the correct units. Sort of a standard procedure. Repeat it again just to make sure that the error continues to happen. Okay. Call that superstition as opposed to logic. As you can tell, it happens to both curves. Okay, so the fact this continues to happen, it's probably an error in um, the makeup of one of these spline curves. So one of the potential strategies is to um, scale up in order to look at um, the number of vertices on both of those spline curves in detail and try to find the error. So I scaled it up about 500% go to the subobject level of vertice, zoom in in order to sort of examine. Now, you can also see there's a tremendous number of vertices, so this could potentially be um, mildly time consuming. But as you become familiar with the model, you can start to notice a potential anomaly. And there it is appearing that portion of the screen. All right, here it is. So that looks like a knot or an overlap where the spline curve intersects itself. So what you can do is just grab a vertice using the move tool and drag it into the correct position. Just to confirm that I'm correct, we will go back to the, you know, I can do some minor adjustments save the file, go back to the top level, select the object, right mouse click, convert to editable poly. Ah, well, it didn't disappear. So we can zoom to all the viewports or zoom to the top view and do a shaded render. All right, so there uh, we were successful in finding and diagnosing the error. So for the remainder, we're just going to repeat it for the other problem, for the other curve, and call it a day. Curve, vertex, pan. Save, top level, convert, and shade. Okay, we are, we are successful. You can now proceed with uh, joining that to the rest of the Alto Vase.